Hello, welcome back. It's your favorite player, the gamer man, and today we're we have another episode of Head as Code. And as I've seen from other videos, you guys really enjoyed this one a lot more than other ones, which is understandable. So I decided I'm gonna do another episode, another episode of this, and see how you guys like this one too, or the series as in a whole. Also, I lost my train of thought. I had a train of thought, but I lost it. No, let's do a different train of thought. Also, let me know what other dumb itch.io games that's similar to this would you like to play? Because I, most of my channel is gonna be like um, visual novel or like g games similar to this, but escape room and stuff like that. So yeah, just let me know and I'll try to get them or try to play them. Also, I forgot to mention at the beginning of the series, which should have been nice to mention that um, this is very text heavy before we get to the actual meat and greet or meat and potatoes of the whole game. So, sorry, but it's just mostly text and ain't doing much puzzling. Don't worry, we'll, we'll get to the puzzles pretty soon. It's getting closer and closer. Don't worry, you can make a fool of myself later on because sometimes I puzzles is not the greatest for me but yeah uh, last time we left off we left with these two twins and i said it could be interesting characters and i don't doubt that because in the other version that i played i got to this point and a little bit further than that so i think at, after a certain point i'm just gonna be completely blind i don't know what else about this game but that's about it all right let's continue one of them was fiercer looking and she stood in the front the other one a little nervous and halfway Hannibal Han, who I assume was her sister. Don't worry, young lady. We're in a strange predicament, but we're not hostile, I can assure you. Yeah, this is still weird, but don't worry. We're not tied to whoever this is. Welcome, by the way. I, I really greeting this, like, really happy and cheery for this. I wouldn't be as happy and cheery as just you know, random building plays and people would just tell me, hey, don't worry, if nothing's gonna to happen to you. I would assume something's gonna to happen to me if I'm in a place like that. But uh, let's continue. Marco smiled at them. He was a little awkward. He was always awkward around strangers, but perhaps there's another reason this time. I didn't pursue it. Instead I trying to help calm down the teenagers. This is blasting my ear. Down this bit, this is blasting. Sorry, it's just blasting. There we go. I hope it's not too low for you guys, but yeah, it's just blasting my ear out. Yeah, it's okay. We're all on the same boat here. They really didn't look reassured at all. I don't blame them. Don't make clear this throat before extending a metaf metaphorical hand to them. Due to our circumstances, we, we have chosen to call it ourselves by nicknames. I am A, this lovely girl by my side is E, this boy is S, and the, there is M, and the pink lady is J. What may, what may we call you? The twin in the front spoke after, spoke after a moment of hesitation. My name is H, my sister is G then. Uh, afterwards, the man who previously known as approached us again. He either wasn't a fan of being excluded, despite the fact he was not he was doing it on his own, or he knows that the group grew big enough to care about. So what the fuck is going on around here? Why can't I leave? Nice for you to join, finally. You're currently attempting to make sense of the situation, so perhaps we should do so together, don't you think? He's gonna disagree. He's not gonna care too much about it. No matter what you tell him. Anyway, <clears throat> sorry, gotta clear my throat. The man thought about it. His pertinence was frightening the twins who climbed up again. But first, we, we could use something to call you by. Should have missed, I've heard a nickname, yes. Yep, and at first I don't care what you call me or what name I give. You just call me Ray, that's good enough. The train has long gone by this point. 
No other came by. I wonder if this meant we were a complete group now. We had a Joker, an old man, twins, a childhood friend, a disabled girl, and a big idiot. And no, out there too. The big idiot was rare, of course. Who could have thunk? For some reason, though, his head might have been, been empty the way, with the way he acted. Even below, below us? Below at us? Folks, I don't know how to. I, English is not my strongest suit, so you just kind of deal with that. Us at post introduction allowed us to check around again for a way out. We did so begrudgingly, but the matter of fact was clear there was no way out. Wow. What gave that away? Man, it can be all this random stuff on the wall and stuff. And it just it caught one thing. I want to call the shot caller. Oh, oh you're the lot. Ooh, boy. It's not money. But yeah, I wouldn't call them a shot caller or anything. Just to exp- uh, look. Huh? Could they be explosive? No. Well, that wasn't quite right. There were two ways out. The first was ridiculous. If some of the television lies past another dimension. Why? Is, is that a P4 reference? Is that a P4 reference? It is a P4 reference. I forgot that it did that in this game when the first time I played this in the other version. There, there was a P4 reference. Now there was no midnight channel for us. That wouldn't happen. The other way was to take the train go through the tunnel. However, that was dangerous. Hey, I found a lock gate. That's not really useful. Because I'm pretty sure no one's have the key. One of the twins called to us. Deep in a dark minutes hall right next to the tunnel, there was a lock gate. His bars were thick. What do you think this means? It means it's locked. Use your eyes. You got some on like the e girl over there. Can't you just break it up? <sighs> Need him to break the lock. I got a metal lock. I'm assuming it's metal. We will attempt to break a metal lock with his fist or maybe his feet. The high shoes, but still, it's not gonna work. His big build allowed him to ram me into such force, and yet, other than loud reverberating, reverberating smash, there was there has been no effect. Door remained firmly locked. What the hell is this door? Um, uh, metal. It's like the other. It's like the other in the metallic wall. They're all so fucking solid. What do you expect a metal to bend? I don't think you should expect it to bend like that. that it's, I mean, it might be a, like an idiot, but I don't think you'd be that big of an idiot. Unless I was that wrong. Unless we're firing and throwing ourselves into a track. I guess we're stuck here for now. Let's deliberate on what to do among yourselves, okay? There ain't really much to do now. Literally, there's nothing to do. You just sit there and wait until something happens, really. We decided that we split up a little talk about what to do and reconvene. Jasmine and Marco split up from the rest. I was going to follow up on them, but A stopped me. Would you kindly speak to each of our little groups to get your opinion on how to proceed? Uh, well, I guess. You think it would help to make up the mind faster? Yes. As much as, as much as I wish to give everyone the space, we need to be sure what we're doing sooner and not later. Well, why would you bring that up? And why can't you do that? Why has it be me? That seems really weird. All right. Well, I guess it is what it is. Understand. I understood what he meant. We couldn't stay here forever. With a nod, I left him to head over to my friend. Actually, I wasn't bound to that. Perhaps I can speak to someone else instead. 
I figured I'd go check them on twins, Ray or my friends. There was an option talking to any of the probably ways. I just talk to him now. Couldn't hurt my curiosity over the duel he formed. Over the duel he formed with either. Get Ray out the way. I approached Ray. He didn't look very welcoming. So what's your idea? Think we should go to the tunnel? Yeah, maybe. Is there nothing else to do? Ain't no way I'm staying here. There's any longer than I need to. I was on my I was on my way five stations deeper. And this is this is such a huge waste of time. He held onto his wrist with his other hand. I noticed something was hidden under his coat. You have a watch? Can you tell the time? Shut up. Don't you have a phone? You younglings all have that nowadays, though. I check my pockets. I did have a cell phone, but not a smartphone. Either way, it wasn't there. So I need it now. You lost it, though. Fine. It's close to 6 p.m. What the hell is Coco Phony? Coco Phony. I was curious what it meant, but I noticed it very quickly that the screen in the back of the station would be nosy. It was covering white noise too. No, I just wonder something when you bring that white noise. Why is white noise called white noise when the shows are black? With black spots. No? Just. Anybody? No? Anybody else? Oh, that's just me. Okay, we continue. I looked at him and seeing others gathered back in front of me. We both went towards to it to understand what has come. When I drove the others, I quickly made an inventory of everyone's state of being. Two of them holding hands over their ears since the noise was pretty loud. Honestly, I was supposed to do much the same. Jasmine and Marco watched it. Waiting ex expectantly. Of everyone, they were the comments of the bunch. Ray would be not great about it. His hand was curling in the face as he was about to punch the thing the next Tuesday. Well, I would say if he doesn't seem different, she's blind. <laughs> or blind in death, but mostly death, so that's probably why she couldn't hear it. And A, I guess, slightly nervous, but he's still fine. I prefer I prepared myself for what could be shown. Both my hands closed in the fist. Once the noise cleared up, someone showed up on the screen. Hmm. Smiley. Alright. He had on a strange mask who seemed to cover his head. just as strangely he was dressed in a cultist robe and his hand completely covering the bandages. Why every like any escape room or anything puzzle related? Got somebody doing this. It never fails. It's always either a cult or some random strange guy who just felt lonely and just wanna create a despair. Or a girl that wanna create a despair. He's twenty twenty one, gotta get with the changes now, it could be both. Alright, let's continue. Couldn't tell if it was a man or a woman. Smile and shine, everyone. I am smiling. Please le listen carefully to all that I will say as I will not repeat it. Can you just be a recording then? Could you just be the recording then? Because that lady thinking you could say then just be recording. And you can't repeat yourself, but by saying you won't repeat yourself, it will cover the fact you can't repeat yourself since you're recording. Interesting. You will be missing crucial details to your survival if you choose to ignore me. Look at the others briefly. Everyone seemed puzzled except for E. Of course. A we would have to communicate everything at the words most likely. The distorted distorted voice resumed its speech. 
You are in the match of the Montreal's underground train system. Montreal Montreal survives on the population. You are my lifeblood. Your goal is to win this game. We will play together the dating game. I understand a game cannot be won by a set rule set up free defined rules. So three we're giving given to you as many as the law robotics. The first one will follow a brief explanation over an important element. You all have a color with a number on them. Specifically number one through eight. You see a number you need someone else to push the ribbon on the back, which which is when it temporarily appears. The color is extremely important as it's both your salvation and demise. You are eight participants, but none of you can, as you are now, pass through any numerous gate leading to the back outside. The reason is simple. Your color should not show the number nine. This is rule number one. To escape this place, you must team up with an additional person. If you break this rule by leaving through one of the as many scan at the gate before you find them, you'll be severely punished. So we have to find a ninth person, team up with them, and then we can leave. Shh, it's important. While well, I continue as it was recording, I kind of figured. I wanted to figure out the ninth per who. Oh boy. Uh, it's very early in the morning when I'm doing this. So I'm gonna be on a lot. Once you figure out the person who will help you leave, two among you will be allowed to do so. As for rule number two, it's cl closely tied to the name of the game. The dating game, as you realize, if you the dating game, as you may realize, if you remember how you arrived here, is to bring you to numerous stations in Paris. On every single station. Except for the one you're currently on, you are forbidden to enter the staircase with more than one partner. Breaking this rule will instantly punish you as well. Even though you can take the train and stop it in the station, the train will not leave unless you have solved the station. The station is stopped at or the group of two leaves the train and the door closes behind them. In essence, you must stop each station as they come. For now, you must only go in one direction, unless you would like to take your chances by crossing over the rails. I was strongly against it. Now, if you got a power of plot armor, yeah, we don't have the power of plot armor. I think we have the power of just restarting or just saving. That's about it. Plot armor would be a lot better because you get all that benefits and you get to see the only the first try. It is not forbidden, but if a train should arrive at the same time as your moment, death would be terrible after this. It's, it's locking our progress. And for rule number three, it is more of a piece of information than a rule. If you are to be punished, it will always be the same way. Decapitation. Decapitation. Yeah. It's gonna be pretty obvious if somebody strap a collar to your neck and be like, Yeah, you'll die by decapitation. Decapitation. Oh, they somebody gonna take up, like, yeah, you gotta die from just losing both your arms. You know, the collar on your neck. That'd be weird. Sorry, I am thirsty. Ah, jeez. The words sit in a tremor of anxiety through our throughout the group. H and G would mortified. Jasmine was there bluntly. Marco armed across. Other side Ray. Uh, Ray. <laughs> Other side A was frowning. And Ray was human angrily. I did say the color of the two things your salvation and your demise. The interior has a feature you cannot see from outside. A red lining, which is the demise part. Breaking up any rules to cause the lining to form a circular laser, which will detach your head and I wouldn't want to make any more mess than necessary. As part of this rule, you're forbidden from breaking a collar. If you determine enough force to apply, it will punish you. 
Hmm. Yeah, assuming he already thought of it, what if I just like figure out how to way just wire like make electrical circuit since that's not really a force. Unless you want to count it as a force. But I highly doubt you count it as a force. But there's a good chance he already probably thought, oh someone's gonna do that. Oops, my bad. Uh, someone's going to do that so most likely you thought of someone trying to sort of circuit it and it probably kill you then too hmm. i believe i have spoken long enough same for me i think i'm probably trying to hear me keep speaking let me just continue who's not under, uh, underestimate the colors you wear they are made of a hot nigh instructable iron even the strongest monks you will not survive the punishment let us wish you never see me on the screen again because my soul this smile that which can kill. Just like that, the screen shut down. Everyone seemed rather panic. Sweat was dripping off my forehead at the thought of that this was actually real and had a death machine that saw around my neck. We wanna die, aren't we? It's okay, sis. I'll protect you against the cluck of fuck. Cluckle fucking, I mean, say chuckle fucking and cluckle. Well, this sucks the time. Can anyone here call a helicopter? I think a helicopter is gonna help. More on the ground if you didn't notice. Hey, just making a joke. It's time to make a joke. It's no use to leave a common one. I agree. You can't let the body of the word lost. Please, I'm planning to make sense of this. Ready to disregard her words and incident made her to call it. He slid his thumb against uh, underneath it with great ether as the collar was snug against his neck. Fuck that, I'm gonna show this with my bush gonna show this bullshit collar. I don't care what this smiling fuckhead told us. This shit is tiny and it should break in seconds. Wait, that's really not a good idea. But he was already pulling on it. Almost merely the back of his collar looked like a red alarm. He instantly released it, realized that, that was a strong ally. Or alloy, not ally. Ah, oh, fuck. Am I done here? You hear me? Stop this shit right now, I get it. I don't watch him silent, but ultimately the alarm stopped. Very soon he got lucky. He leaned over looking extremely tired. Couldn't blame him. Yeah, for grateful didn't go through with it. The next time won't be so lenient. Yeah, I'll figure out. Ready to go almost on the back train to subject to something more important to the matter at hand. Why if he went to go punch the door out any results? Did you guys notice how he spoke? It was like a recording, like that was said a while ago. What's the problem with that? I shouldn't want to live here if me was doing it and I stress out like hell. No, consider why I set the way. What is what if it's because he's a manga foreshadowing? I that's some good I would say there's gonna be some foreshadowing. Well as I might be not been the most intelligent to say right now as panic ripple through the group. Everyone looked at each other, not sure who to trust. It came it came back? A came back from his talk with E. Oh, A came back. That that's the wordplay there. A came back from his talk with E. He told her what's finally said, most likely. That is possible. Suppose we need to keep our eyes open then. Cause I want to come from him. That guy, he kind of has a great build. Does he? Maybe it's him. Why not put myself in death trap? Think before you speak. And my name's not Gray, it's Ray. It's a two them things back there. That was pretty good for a joke. Maybe two of them let's move a little bit. Jasmine signed, sighed very loudly and shook her head. Now, I don't think we could tell so easily. The fact they look big only means that one of us could be wearing no more things look bigger. If we, for example, as wearing a better, uh, wearing a bunch of foam under a row to appear bigger, still to appear taller. 
and then have you thinking it's crazy. Yeah, see, it's not dumb at me. More importantly, I know none of you trust anyone else right now, but we need to do what he says. We need to check out a call and take the train. Oh, that's right, you still don't know our numbers. Let's do that. Very quickly, we all checked each other's numbers. Numbers one through numbers one through four were G, me, Marco, and A, respectively. H, R, H, Ray, E, and Jasmine were five through eight. That's what we thought. No one had number nine. That's pretty obvious. I don't think he's gonna give me number nine. Then you just leave. Strangely, too, our color number also had color. G had green. I had blue, Marco had orange, A had yellow, H had aqua, Ray had white, E had red, and Jeff had purple. Of course it wouldn't be so easy, huh? What if these weird colors? Too much of a game we can solve in 10 seconds. True. While we check the colors, a train slowly robbed the station. It, its door opened like a yawning abyss returning, representing our future. After several moments of inertia, I asked what everyone else was thinking. Is the train waiting for us? Jasmine stared at me accusingly. I struggled with retaliation. I was the one who, I was the one who posed that thought earlier, but maybe it's true. But we don't have a choice. I don't think, I don't think anybody really wanted to go down the tunnel either. Is it safe? Safe enough at least. Ray disgruntled in dissatisfaction. Let's split into four groups of two then. I think for many of us it's rather easy to determine. About that. If I end up with a smiley fucking it wouldn't forgive me, huh? You're the one who's afraid of that? Yeah, you get a fair point. Out of everybody, you're the afraid of that. <laughs> I don't know why you so scared about that. You'll be fine, bruh. Alright, let's go. Ah, there's something in my eye. The worst possible time. But, uh, but no, you're not you're wrong. Hmm. But no, you're wrong. Interesting, it's safer that way after listening. We were in groups of two when someone comes alone. What do you think that means? That's right. The one to come back up. It would be super suspicious. I don't think anyone would act out if we all take the station at the same time. Well, that's fair. But how does not multiple people in it, on it? It keep more than one person. That's masterminding it. Which means that this is the best course of action. Ah, there's something in my eye. Okay. Marco changes something inquiring, inquiring about our location is dead. This side of the station is going the north side, right? What makes sense it went the other way? That's true. It wouldn't make sense if it went the other way. That's true. I'm going north then. I've been heading towards the north earlier after all. If we left the train, we were on the east side of the station. Go in. If we stay in too long, we'll die of hunger or dehydration, or even worse, something else happened. Like a fight breaking out, I thought. Every way around, that's possible. Hard to look angry again. So when we get out early, we turn to our lives, right? Now, at the very least, I'm in favor of doing what Swan says. Otherwise, we can't get out of here right now. You getting that right? HD, you both good? What about A? Are you good with E? All the other. The group all naturally split up among those who ride together. H went with G, and A was the only one coming E, so with her and for us. It's actually more complicated. I could go with Jasmine or Marco, but Ray would be alone. That would meant to split up, depending on links. That means I need to go Marco. What sort of link could Jasmine and Ray should have shared? That Earth to S is falling. Huh? We can split the team any way you like. I might as well pick you. You should go with Ray. 
Hey, who has a baby to they never hit eyes in the direction. You had to trust Marco right in the end. I feel like a fight would break her put together with me. She wouldn't have much of a choice. I can feel like Jasper could handle, handle whatever Ray could throw at us. I went with Marco. Besides, this is how Paris meant to be. We all had links somehow. Oh, it wouldn't be the other way around. I know Jasper for far longer than I know Marco. Huh? What did I think all of a sudden? We were trying to crack some weird codes. Looks like I had a what's that composure to solve the situation. I should get my head to clear it up. Never just been getting on the ground too long. But this kind of kidnapping was any fun to me. Okay, Jay, you with Ray, and I go on him. Is that fine by you? She slowed and nodded me. For some reason I felt as though she was dissatisfied with the outcome. It's probably be giving me a choice. At least Ray and Michael will fight. They're running the team set now. Since we couldn't access the other side of the station. It was only one direction we could take. Turns into the train first. After, after noting it wasn't moving yet, my group follow. I figured this station would automatically some degree. One of the masterminds behind all this could see us. I shiver ran on my spine at, at that thought. We were just scanning on a door or something. Cameras we couldn't see. Some of them are group self conscious. Okay. Don't think too much about it. I did earlier, and well, that thing, things didn't go well in my head. Yeah, you're gonna end up stressing yourself out. It makes situation work, so just take a breath and chill out. She sighed in discouragement, closing her eyes for a moment. I wordlessly agreed with her. Arrived at destination, time for death. Door closed and greeted by a pre recorded screen telling us what the next station was. I can never get these station names by Pro Chain Station Guard Manger? Guard Manger? Eh. With all this, I had forgotten the train had a fr French dic diction here. See the next station was Guard Manger, whatever it was. Normally I sit down and stare blank at the wall to see which one will blink first. This is just a handful. I figure some child wouldn't hurt. The real question would, would be the best topic to pick. I guess is that identity? I don't nothing to really say like pick one that would pick really if I'm trapped in a train. I didn't want to respond didn't they? So about that guy in the mask, smiling with it. What are your impressions? Did that scary tell? And also, he feels kind of familiar. The stuff he's having on his head. The mask? It's really frightening. I certainly wouldn't want to eat lunch with him. I mean, you can't tell what he looks like from the inside. Maybe he's handsome. Maybe, but there's a reason to consume himself now. Um, I think there's only three possible reasons why. He enumerated all with the twins and listen. First, it is someone in a group of eight. Yes, I know that's kind of weird to think about. So let's think about the second one instead. Second possibility is he's someone one of us knew, but is in the group. He might be really something. Or someone some kind of notoriety who won't be seen. Like a celebrity. You think someone with such high fame would do that? Possible. I've seen a lot of eccentric billionaires. At the word eccentric, my mind instantly jumped to A and E. Feel bad for thinking about them as they were all the eccentric in the world. The other one is they live with the mask their whole life. A hockey mask, a machete, a big guy running out to come kill you. They thought that not the horror movie. Though you looked right at home in one. Maybe we're not in one, but our situation is pretty dim. Like I said, he'd be right at home. Shake my head just leave. Mark will never just stop making jokes and references. I don't wonder how that dude's got a master degree in science. Hmm. Yeah, it was so tense once we arrived at the station I caught myself holding my breath. 
doors finally open, but nobody's in a hurry to leave. They should guard Manger. Yes, I'm just twisting it. The doors aren't closing, so it's finally said it was true. He was at the leader. I don't mind going first, but if anyone else wants to, I won't mind that either. I don't think you really want to leave the train yet, or maybe he's afraid of what could happen. Looked at the others and looked at the others and eventually the old man smiled. Very well, we've taken the station then. Please grant me a moment to let me know. I examined the station outside the window what he's doing. He marked a figure with one of the with the at the one we previously had. Large metal pipes covered the wall. Where was funny was what we didn't like somehow he could have equipment to modify every single station of the subway. Well maybe. You get help from the government. Cause for some reason in certain cases of games like this, the government is always doing something. Do we want know why? No. They, 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 want, they want to do something, either for fun or trying to figure out popular control and whatnot. Some, eh. What well, is well, how they go react when they bring up something about the government? They gonna think they get something government on them or whatnot, right? Before I managed to fight myself, one the old man sal saluted us to take his depo departure. We see each other again. I hope. If not, save trouble and pray you make it out alive. That's nice. He left the train, followed by the girl. Then she broke her kneecaps and fell down the stairs. That's probably a little too much. But anyway, let's go. The two of them waved at us. Rather, the old man waved at us and E was waved at an empty compartment. Uh, they love just messing with E, just making a wave with the random shit ever. Poor girl. Two of them continue forward until they stop through an open doorway. As soon as E vanishes out of the door, slid closed with a soft thump. At that door to the train closed as well, and we set up once more, but this time without two of the passengers. You seem sad. I'm not even gonna pronounce that. I figured I could keep talking to the others while we're in here, but before I could do so, Marco said something. Trying to get hungry, I don't know why. Yeah, me too, now you mentioned it. Hey, you know how hunger works, right? What do you mean? When you get hungry, you don't get. You really don't get hungry the way we think we do. Like there's some intimacy stomach and growth, right? Yeah, that's how I know I'm hungry. We're in reality, just some kind of signal. The body's like, hey, I'm not doing this anymore. Free space. Send food and your brain will see the message. Mm, I guess you're a science man. Science man here. I don't know about that. Actually, I don't know. I learned that during the middle school. Uh, I, this is my, what my teacher said. So it's like, technically your stomach isn't growling, it's just that your stomach walls are moving against each other. And that's what makes the growling sound like that. And so it signals the message to your brain that your stomach walls is grinding against each other and telling you to get something to eat. Which is very interesting to really think about. And something terrifying. It's you just stomach walls growl like that. Man, didn't you have a biology class? You should know all this stuff already. If I had to guess, that was too far long ago for both of us. I've been working for four years, so I never had to tune in and think about it again. Yeah, besides, you know, really the time to talk about now. Yeah, oh yeah, the next day's coming. You want it? I'll tell you about it later. I'll pass the thing. That's unfortunate. Well, I'm trying to order something from um, Starbucks right quick. It's really nothing good to get. I guess I can get some pepper, um, peppermint chin, uh, frappuccinos.
the fuck is decaf? I don't know. I do not order from this place a lot. I really don't get Starbucks at all. Like, it's been years since I've touched Starbucks. When I say years, I mean years, because I really don't care if we grab Starbucks. It's never really been my forte of grabbing stuff from Starbucks. I mean, it's not really much to grab from Starbucks. All right, I'm back. Sorry, I, that Starbucks order, order took a lot longer than I, I thought it would be. So I was trying to figure out what to get. Alrighty, noticing how his special job, I signed and surrendered myself to his wild wills. Wild wills, and I. Eh, whatever you want to call it. Fine, okay. But later. Once again, the door opened once again, nobody moved. This time I decided to leave. I gathered my courage to step forward. Alright, M. It's all turned out. Okay. Guess we're going. Guess we can go now, knowing that it won't kill us for now. There's always opportunities. Don't worry about it. Would it make any sense if we did? You think? At this rate, let's see each other. Let's see each other later. One, come on back in one piece too. That means you're not allowed to lose your fingers or your arms or even your hair. I put him on the train before he kept booting himself on the bigger laughing stock. I gave Jasmine a wave and. We Return with a kind nod. Oh, that's lovely. So now I looked around. The station seemed the same as the previous one. Giant metal plates open the doorway. I pointed at it. I think that's our destination. We have more time to talk. Once we search this place proper, lead the way, Mr. In Intrepid. Intrepid. I'm lost with that. He made an exaggerated gesture towards the entrance, almost falling so over like a butler. Something never changed, I guess. I took the lead anyway. I could have not uh, displaying. How could I not done so after this display of politeness? Once I stepped inside the tiny staircase lobby, I realized the place was actually decently lit. Fast me just my eyes getting used to the rel relative darkness. The moment Marco walked through the doorway, to ascend the staircase with me, the door behind us closed with a soft sliding sound. Right next to it, on the inside the wall, was a small keypad. It, looked, it took numbers. So I see we're trapped. We just gotta find a code to open the door and just move further in. You think Smiley would put us here directly to avoid the train business? But the case is, let's go already. I'm trying to get really hungry. Maybe find some food here. I don't think Spawn's blood is dark for starvation since we his bloodline blood life. Blood life. Put it back for us. Life blood. Ah. Food seemed to be wishful thinking. Say there's no point of wasting, so we went up the stairs. Well, whatever way to us, it's rather strange to be honest. It was the library. And that's where I'm gonna stop it in. Thank you for watching. It's your favorite player, the gaming man. Like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Bye. Also, I want to thank to our recent one of our recent subscribers we got. We're now up two subscribers. It's not a lot, but I'll take it. Thanks, guys. Alrighty. Bye.